What is up my viewers and subscribers? I am Mike Wang, aka Rebel 180. And this is going to be a short discussion about the WWE, the newest WWE tag team, The Ascension. Now these guys, coming up from NXT, had promise. They had all the tools they needed to succeed, but Vince McMahon, he just can't move past the past. He just can't uh, accept that times are changing, so he sabotages these young guys, these new up-and-comers, to, you know, satisfy his own uh, desire to just ruin everything that represents uh, a time where he won't be around. Everything right now all these new people coming up from NXT, they represent a time where Vince McMahon may not be around anymore. And that that just doesn't sit well with him, so he has to he has to completely throw anything new under the rug. And he, like he has to sweep it under the rug, make sure that it never sees the light of day, make sure that it no longer make sure that it doesn't have a future. So, uh, with that being said, I just want to know, is the Ascension a lost cause? We saw, we all saw last night what happened. They got, they got their asses kicked by four guys. That's not right. Actually, I think it was like three guys because the end, because, you know, the NWO was count, would count as seven, right? Uh, and uh, I don't think Ron Simmons did anything, so it was like just JBL and the New Age Ellers. But still, uh, I'm afraid also that they're going to just get ran over at the Royal Rumble. It's like, these are two up-and-coming guys that Triple H sent up to revitalize the tag team division because it's lacking. You got the Usos who everyone's tired of, but they're a good tag team. They're a good tag team, but everyone's tired of them. Uh, you got Los Matadors uh, who are very entertaining, but you know they have that stupid mascot. You got Slater Gator, which makes no sense. You got Miz and Miz Dow, which is stupid. And like, they need new tag teams, fresher tag teams. Tag, te tag teams that can actually bring, bring the tag team division into the future. And you're ruining it. The WWE is ruining the tag team division as of right now. And I'll just say this. I'm not even going to wait until the Royal Rumble. I'm not even going to wait to see if WrestleMania is any good. I'm going to watch WrestleMania either way. But I'll just say this. If the Ascension doesn't win their match at the Royal Rumble, I'm done either way. I'm boycotting WWE television until they get their act together after WrestleMania, if the Ascension loses at the Royal Rumble. I'm tired of this crap happening. It doesn't make sense for you to squash a team that has potential, even though idiots on the internet don't think so. Um, and it's just ridiculous. The reason why these guys don't look like they have talent is because they're not being used properly. They're not given proper promos. They're not given the ability. They're not given the chance to do actual matches. They're being set up with jobber teams and being trashed by a heel commentator. That makes no sense. They're supposed to be heels. He's a heel commentator. What the hell? I'm just saying, you know. So. If the Ascension loses their match at the Royal Rumble, I'm going to be done after WrestleMania either way. That's just how I see it.
So, you know, whatever. Uh, anyone watching, you tell me what you think. Is the Ascension a lost cause? I think they pretty much are, or at least they will be if they lose at, at the Royal Rumble. So, with that being said, I am Mike Wayne, a.k.a. Rub 180. So long for now.